Hey guys, Greg here at The Vinyl Rundown. So, another channel on the vinyl community here, MGK Boston, asked the musical question, what are your three favorite wedding songs? And it's Valentine's Day, or the week of Valentine's Day, so why not? I got three songs to show you, and uh, they're not necessarily my favorites, but they're the three favorites that I want to make a video about. So, let's see. Let's start with this one. I got married in 1990, and this record came out in 1989. It was a huge movie soundtrack, When Harry Met Sally. Uh, it's all sort of jazz standards, old jazz standard songs. And the main song, the main theme is It Had To Be You. So we requested that song as our first dance at our wedding. Boy, this is getting sappier by the minute, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, huge, huge movie. Billy Crystal, Meg Ryan. Everybody fell in love with Meg Ryan in that movie. And it's a funny romantic comedy love story. And by the way, it was directed by Rob Reiner, the meathead himself. And he had a, a huge movie prior to this called Spinal Tap. And that was the first movie I went to see with my wife, our first date, so... It's kind of a weird tie-in with the Rob Reiner thing. <clears throat> so, it had to be you, jazz standard. And that, that song has been used in a bunch of movies. Um, in uh, Annie Hall, Diane, Keats, Diane Keaton sang it in a bar. And it was featured in Casablanca. And this movie, so it's like one of the most classic uh, jazz standard love songs of all time. I, I looked it up because I do my research. Any idea when that song first came out? It had to be you. 19, would you believe 1924? That song is 100 years old. 1924, it was a number one hit on the charts. Okay, so fast forward to 1990. Me and my lovely bride are getting married and we requested It Had To Be You as our first uh, dance, first song. Welcome the couple, blah, 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 Greg and Kelly, you know, clap, clap, clap. We come out there and we're dancing in front of everybody, you know, 300 people. And the song comes on, but we've never heard this version of this song before. What is he doing? What's going on here? It turns out that in addition to the main song on side one, there is another instrumental version on side two. That's just Harry playing the piano. Harry Connick Jr. Um, so we don't have the benefit of his great vocal. It's just him playing the piano. And it's a very clunky, syncopated, almost like Thelonious Monk version. It's like bang, 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 bang. completely undanceable. So we're, we're going with it. We're dancing. And I just, I just, just, just hold on. I walked across the big floor in my tuxedo and told the guy, you know, you're playing the wrong version, you idiot. You ruined our, you ruined our wedding. Not our marriage. Not yet. Anyway, <clears throat> and I had a big laugh over it. And so that was my, that's number one on my list. It had to be you by Harry Connick Jr. Okay. Let's fast forward to another wedding that happened seven or eight years later. My brother-in-law. We all have brother-in-laws, right? Some of us do. And he's kind of a ham. And he decided to sing at his own wedding, his own wrapped, rapping rendition of Bust a Move. He's just a big, jovial, fun guy, life of the party kind of guy. Always the center of attention, in a good way. And um, Bust a Move, that was by Fresh Prince of Bel Air, today known as Will Smith. And it was an early rap song, let's say. Anyway, that's my number two song. I don't necessarily recommend that for weddings, but it's it's one of the big wedding memory songs in my brain. Okay, third song. <clears throat> Here's a one recording of the song. It's about weddings. Going way back to the late 60s. Do you guys remember The Fifth Dimension? Uh, they had a huge number one hit song with a song called Wedding Bell Blues. I think that's on side two here. 
I'm going to show you this cool record, Aquarius from the, uh, and Let the Sunshine from, uh, what do you call it, uh, Hair. And then where's Wedding Bell Blues? Sunshine of Your Love by Cream is on here. But there's the label. There's the record I just dropped on the floor. And uh, there's more to the story. Just just chill out here, guys. Well, Age of Aquarius and uh, Let the Sunshine were from, uh, from, from hair, right? Are they from Jesus Christ? No, they were from hair, I think. And they're doing a cool thing on the, uh, what do you call it? The, in, the inside gatefold. They've got their sign of the Aquarius on each person here. This guy's a Cancer. Flo is a Aquarius. Lamont is a Virgo. Anyway, this song, Wedding Bell Blues, you probably remember the lyric, Will you marry me, Bill? So the song was actually written by Laura Nero. And she also wrote Stone Cold Picnic. Stone Soul Picnic, I think it's called. And then she wrote the big one by uh, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, which was um, When I Die, When I'm Gone. So she was a big songwriter. She died of cancer early, I think in her 30s. Uh, so she recorded Wedding Bell Blues in 66. Then The Fifth Dimension came along and recorded it, I think, in 69. Number one hit record. And then a couple years ago, I'm at the Greek Theater and Morrissey breaks out into Wedding Bell Blues. I had no idea. He actually recorded the song a few years ago. Um, so Laura Nero refers to a guy named Bill in the song, Will You Marry Me, Bill? And she had some guy named Bill in her life. I don't know if it was her producer or manager. But by coincidence, the guy in uh, The Fifth Dimension is also named Bill, Billy Davis. So Marilyn McCoo would sing that song to him, even though the vocal was hers. He would look over she would look at him and he would look, stand there going, uh, you know, why, why, do I, why do I want to get married? Anyway, the two of them have been married for over 50 years and they're both still alive. And so that's a nice little ending to the story. Happy marriage. They're both in their eighties, happily married. And that is three wedding songs. And uh, thank you, Mr. MGK in Boston. I'm just plain old GK in Los Angeles. I'll send them to the vinyl rundown. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep it spinning. Bye-bye.